Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I got a package. I want to share something with you here. Uh, I reached out to these guys. Now, if you're the person on the channel that recommended that I look into this, let me know, okay? Uh, put down in the comments. Let's get some credit. Shout out to you. Um, Red Patea. Pretty cool little box. Guys, this is the Swiss Army knife of uh, tools, or I'm gonna show you. It, it just does a whole bunch of different things, but um, it's kind of a cool presentation. Uh oh. So it has this card in it. Hey, Eddie. Wow, I got my name on it. Uh, great meeting you, and let's see, let's see what it says. Here's your very own Swiss Army knife for engineers, AKA the Red Patea. Get creative, push some boundaries, and let's see what kind of magic you can engineer. Guys, this is gonna be cool. Okay, then it, let's see, it goes on and it says, and if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, scan the QR code to see what other creators have been up to. Okay, so that's pretty neat. This is a company, I think they started around 10 years ago. I'm going to put some information down here so we can see all this cool stuff. Now this is a card that shows, I'll show a close up of this, okay? But I'm going to explain to you what this is and we're going to start it up and uh, see what we can do with it. We'll, we'll see if we can, wow, that is a little card. Guys, this is essentially a, a oscilloscope. Uh, you know, you can do body plots with it. It's a spectrum analyzer. It does a whole bunch of things. It's pretty powerful. So, it's got the board. I've got a USB cable, SD card, and a power supply. Okay. So, I'm going to show you a close up of all this stuff, and I'm going to explain what this is. But this is going to be really cool to see on the channel. Okay. We're going to have some fun with this. All right, guys, so here's Red Potato's website, and I just want to show you a few things. Well, here, let's go through these bullets here they have up here. I'll uh, just jog through these. There's some of their products. See how small it is? All right, so let me show you some things. So, of course, it's compact, powerful. It's, it's really small. So they have different kits, and right here it says some for industry. Academia, research, radio amateurs. And they call it the Swiss Army knife for engineers. I mean, here's three of the main products. And here's six reasons they say uh, to buy it. Replace a bunch of bulky instruments because it's small, right? It does a lot of things. So offers flexibility, uh, uses real-time signal processing technologies, uh, some of those processors they have on these things are pretty powerful. And so because it re replaces all those tools, of course, it's going to replace the cost. And very versatile. You can do remote programming with LabVIEW, MATLAB, Python. So, yeah, very versatile. And it looks like Bosch, NASA, and Siemens has used this instrument. Boston University. Los Alamos, Ford, Apple. So yeah, some pretty good, some big names in the industry, right? And so that Swiss Army knife thing, it acts as a, an oscilloscope and signal generator, LCR meter, spectrum analyzer, logic analyzer, Boolean analyzer, and vector network analyzer. There's how to contact them, there's their information. I wanna go through their brochure with you real quick, okay? Just kind of show you what that looks like. So it's small, replaces your instruments. So just giving you some of this stuff that you can read on your own. You can pause, take a look at this stuff. Uh, intuitive user interface. So so we're gonna pull up this interface as I get using this. We're gonna I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff because I'm gonna learn it along with you. So it looks like you can use it on these different platforms, which is really great. And here's some of the things you can read about. 
And here's kind of a picture of their products. Some of these specifications. I think that's the one I, I got here, the STEM Lab 125, 14-bit. Uh, so Ethernet port, USB port, SD card. We'll take a closer look at this, okay? And guys, here's how you can expand your Patea. You can get this, uh, they call them click boards, those little small boards that fit on their click shield. And yeah, it looks very flexible, very cool, huh? And in academia, uh, looks like there's different universities that have used this. You can, you know, it's a great tool to learn. As it does so many different things, I guess it'd be great to use this in school, right? I mean, it looks like there's a lot of different types of classes you could teach this in, so I could see why it'd be good for a university. And the six reasons to buy the Patea. It's open source, power of open source, integrated tool set, top tier processing, affordable excellence, yours to integrate, accessible remote control. So here's some comments from some of their people from industry, academia, research, and radio amateurs. And it looks like it's used all over the world right now. So they've made it a long ways in such a short time. All right, that's what it looks like as an oscilloscope signal generator. There's a little close-up of the screen. And here's some of the products you can start with. And I think I have the one over here on the far left. Uh, yeah, this is just an introduction to Red Patea. I was very impressed with this. So I reached out. After a few emails, they sent me a kit. And I'm going to show you how these applications work. The Bode Analyzer Spectrum and the Oscilloscope, those are some of the first ones we'll look at. But also the Logic Analyzer, LCR, and the Vector Network. So we're going to have some fun. I think I might need an add-on for the LCR meter and for the Logic Analyzer. So we'll see what I can do with the kit I have. I might have to get some add-ons to do some of these things. Hey guys, this product is very impressive i think what do you guys think i'm going to show you a little bit more data some specifications on the product itself and just a little more data so let's just jump into this take a closer look all right guys i want to show you a table here specifications of the different products uh the stem lab 125-14 I, I believe that's the one i have and you can see down here now it's 14 bits you know, everybody's excited about 12-bit scopes out now. This thing's 14 bits. What, is it? what do we have? Dynamic range 80 dB. Pretty amazing. That's at 14 bits. So just wanted to show you the a quick table of the specs. Here's some uh, features. Look at the waterfall. The colors there. That's pretty cool. It's going to be fun to test this thing. Peak detect, waterfall, axis control. So yeah, wow, that looks, yeah, this looks fun to play with. I can't wait. So here's one I think I have, okay? Uh, let's come down here. All right, so here's just a quick summary of the key features. Here's kind of a close-up of the board and the different parts of it. Let you look at that. All right, now here's the specifications, technical specs. Look at the processor. It has dual arm core. Cortex A9, MP core, huh? So, and the FPGA is a Xilinx. Uh, RAM is, what, five, 512 megabytes or four gigabytes. I, I'm thinking in parentheses, I'm, I'm think, I don't know if that's the SD card that they're considering. I'm, I don't know what that is, why there's a parentheses. System memory, okay, there's the SD card, 32 gig. Let's look at connectivity. Okay, we have the ethernet, it's one gig. Uh, USB is uh, USB 2 and Wi-Fi. Okay, RF inputs. There's two channels. Uh, it's 125 mega samples per second. The ADC resolution is 14 bit, which we saw before. Here's a full scale range. I think it's selectable, so we're going to have to look at that. One volt or uh, plus minus one volt, plus minus 20 volt. Input coupling is DC. Bandwidth is DC to 60 meg. And input impedance is one mega ohm. Okay, here's the RF outputs. There's two channels of outputs, and the DAC is 14 bit plus minus one volt, 50 ohms. 
and it does have short circuit protection. Rise and fall times is 2 volts, 10 nanoseconds. And with DC to 50 meg. Okay, the external connector, uh, 16 IOs, digital IOs. Uh, analog inputs are four channels, 0 to 3.5, 12 bits. Analog outputs, four channels, 0 to 1.8 volt, 12 bit. Communication interface, I squared C, UR, and SPI, or SPI. Available voltages, 5 volts, 3.3, and a minus 4. Trigger input through extension connector, daisy chain connection over SATA, or SATA, however you, you know, people say that, SATA connection, uh, ref clock input, non applicable. And here's some applications and use cases. All right, guys, this looks like a very incredible, very impressive device. I can't wait to start using it. I mean, it is very small, and man, uh, if you're the guy, the, there might have been more than one, actually. If you can tell me the video that you recommended me to look at this, and tell me what state you're in, contact me on uh, email. Maybe we'll see about sending you out something. Guys, I want to give two thumbs up to Red Patea for sending this thing out to me. Looks very impressive. Uh, man, the chips on board. Just looked at the routing and the chip placement. It's just super cool. So, yeah, very impressed. Um, two big thumbs up to my Patreons and my YouTube members. And Danny for being a team member. You guys can join. Uh, links down below. The, links, the affiliate links are free to use. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Appreciate using those. They're from multimeters, scopes, power supplies. They're down in the description down below. But a free way to support it is just like the video, share it, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Love that. I really want to grow this channel. Be cool if I could hit 40K by the end of the year. Uh, anyway, we can all hope. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And again, two big thumbs up, Red Potato, for sending this out. Really appreciate that. Uh, super impressed so far. Can't wait to start playing with it. And um, I appreciate all you guys watching. So. We'll catch you next time.